Well, uh, welcome back. <laughs> Guys, welcome to another video. Bar flare. We didn't learn enough. Bar flare. If you guys didn't catch last week's video, today we're working with Aperol. This fantastic liqueur is kind of orangey in flavor, kind of citrus in flavor. It's made up of some rhubarb and gentian for the bitterness. It's kind of like a Campari if you're familiar with that, but uh, not nearly as bitter and a little bit more sweet, although it does have the same sugar content. Today we are going to be uh, making a drink called an Aperol Spritz. <laughs> Today we're gonna make two different versions of it. The classic version, and then we're gonna do one with my little gamperoli twist on it. Typically you can build them in just in a, in a wine glass. Um, I mean, you could really use any sort of vessel, whatever you've got around, but um, this kind of just makes it a little bit more fun and special, you know what I mean? You know what I like doing is actually washing these uh, by hand because you don't put them in the dishwasher. To get started, we're just gonna go ahead with our ice. Classic three, two, one uh, recipe. Three ounces of Prosecco, two ounces of Aperol, one ounce of soda water. Obviously too, you can play with this ratio. It's all about what your per 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 peripheral, per personal pr preferences. For those of you that aren't familiar with opening sparkling wine, uh, I'm gonna show you how it's done. You always wanna keep your thumb on top of that cork as best as you can, because this thing coming out is, it has more pressure than a car tire. So it's pretty serious. I've seen these things go across, like well, across restaurants, literally like large restaurants. And uh, so basically you're gonna hold it and you're gonna, just gonna twist the whole bottle, just like so. And away we go. I wouldn't normally measure this, but just for the sake of the video, I'm gonna do so. Oh, that's... <laughs> do you guys know that sparkling wine's really bubbly? So because it's a three to one ratio uh, and this glass is fairly large, I'm gonna actually just go one and a half times the recipe. So I'm gonna just do another ounce and a half of Prosecco. So it's four and a half ounces total. I'm gonna go an ounce and a half of, sorry, three ounces of Aperol. Close call, math is, math is hard. And we're gonna go two ounces, no, one and a half ounces of soda. Lovely. We're just gonna get ourselves a really nice orange wheel here. And I'm just gonna throw this just like so, about a straw. Go sit on a patio with that in front of you. That's happy. <laughs> Cocktail number two. If you're getting tired of a a classic uh, Aperol Spritz, then I'm gonna give you a, a potential change up. Today we're gonna be using Stiegel Rattler. If you're not familiar with Rattlers, they are a great low alcohol um, option if you want a nice refreshing beverage on a hot day. It's only two and a half percent total, um, which seems like a waste of time. I mean, seems uh, exceptionally low. It's a combination of grapefruit juice and typically a lager. Um, so this one's actually made by Stiegel, it's an Austrian uh, company. They're from Salzburg, uh, which makes me hungry because I think of a uh, fantastic state. So we're gonna get started once again with our ice. Now we're gonna go with our Aperol. I feel like I'm not looking at the camera enough. Is that, am I not making eye contact? <laughs> okay. Two, three ounces of Aperol. We're gonna go with our Rattler. Five ounces. And because Rattler is really low on alcohol, the Aperol is obviously fairly low on alcohol content. And just to add a little bit of brightness, that just the juniper that comes through is really, really nice in it. So I'm just gonna throw in three quarters of an ounce of gin. And then once again, top off with some soda water. I'm not gonna bother measuring this. Just like so. Beautiful. And we're just gonna go once again with our orange slice. And boom. Does it need to stir? No? I might just give it a quick mix up. I was really, I was actually just hoping for a really boozy gin sip <laughs> right off the top here, but you ruined that for me, so. Sorry. Thanks, Sam. Sorry. Let's try it, shall we? Oh, oh, it's so good. 
That really is so good. I think I like that over, over a regular Aperol Spritz, actually. It's beautifully balanced. The grapefruit from the Rattler just plays so well with this and the, and, and the this. The, these two things. Man, I just want to be on a patio right now. So bad. Guys, thanks again for watching. Really appreciate you guys hanging out. Um, if you enjoyed the video, we re really appreciate you hitting the like button as well as subscribing to our channel. It really helps us out. Comment uh, below if there's somebody that you know would really enjoy this. Uh, maybe share it with them and uh, have a great week. We'll see you next time. Yeah.